First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. All right, so for those of you who may not be up to speed on your build blog reading, whether that's the six, the six teams on the Open Alliance, um, we're going to get into that in a minute, but we're going to draw for our giveaway because everybody loves winning stuff even before the season actually kicks off with competition. So, Tyler, why don't you pick a winner? And yeah, everybody get we'll do this real team. quick, and we're actually just going to start the next giveaway right away, too, uh, since we're wrapping up on time. So, Help Australia was the keyword, and the winner is TJP503. TJP503, congratulations. Not a sub, by the way. You can win without being a subscriber. It happens on occasion. So uh, so congratulations. Make sure you uh, message first updates now, either on Twitch or on our Discord, and that's your opportunity. Uh, TJP says totally rigged, by the way. So I don't know. Does anybody know who that is or what? Eric, Eric seems excited, so I wasn't sure. So All right. I'm just uh, laughing at people's people's comments right. in the text. In Fair the enough. Chat. So, uh, yeah. So congratulations on that. And we're actually going to start uh, for our last one here as well, too. Um, I didn't really have a keyword in mind for it. So, uh, bucket hats. let's see. Every, Buc- every, <laughs> what do you, what bucket, you hats. bucket hats? Bucket hats. Bucket hats. Everybody who's right. it's rigged. If it was rigged, I would win every time. Tyler lives five minutes away from me. So there it's not go. rigged. Uh, type bucket hats, <laughs> type bucket hats in chat right now for your chance to win. Uh, we'll draw in just a few minutes. Excuse me, draw in just a few minutes. I know it's getting late, guys, uh, so we do want to wrap up with a few last things, and then we'll draw for this last giveaway. All right, so real quick, uh, we're going to hop in and ask where you guys are. Uh, what is your next step with your team? I'm going to let you do, like, four sentences max about those two topics. So, Eric, <laughs> why don't you go first? Still prototyping. Uh, decision soon. Uh, I don't know. She said sentences, not words. I mean, you were like going for like a slam poem there, so I, I was. Uh, yeah, I was gonna haiku it, but it didn't happen. So yeah, no. Uh, yeah, we got it. More prototyping now that we have more balls. Uh, a lot of programming for because we really want a really good turret uh, and vision. And then Saturday is Catathon, so manufacturing next week. Mm. That sounds I can't good. Believe we're doing a turret. I'm just oh kidding. my gosh. We're probably going to end up with a turret on our robot for week five anyway. We keep talking about what upgrades we can do because we're competing week one, three, and five, but week three we're in Ottawa, right? Um, hold on, just I was just trying to lose going to Canada. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to go to Canada. So we're prototyping Christmas shooters. Babies. I don't know if you can see that, if it's going to play. But we are working, so we're doing testing with our shooter. Yeah, of course, that's not going to play. Stick it Um, on your blog later, and everybody can Yeah, I'll put it up. So that's just incentive for everybody to go. um, So right now, we're doing testing. So we ordered um, those Fairline wheels. We got four different durometers. So the rest of the week, we're going to be testing to figure out uh, what the best compression, what the best durometer and uh, wheel speed is with four inch fair line wheels. So we can get a more, figure out what's the most consistent shot. Once we have that, we're also prototyping two different ball serializing systems. Um, so you'll be able to see us go through the process of how we do um, just as fast as possible prototyping. So we just come out. So sometimes when we're stuck, we'll just sit down and we'll write some stuff on a, on a whiteboard and we'll kind of try and work through it as quick as possible. So we're doing that through the end of the end of the week. And then, um, sorry, this more than four sentences. And then uh, climb. We we have hopefully we'll have what we're doing for a climb. We want to go buddy climb. We want to pick somebody up week week one. Uh, we want to get that RP. So we're gonna put out some stuff. Like I said, we're collabing with the Falcons on that one. So I gotta make sure that Josh Miller is gonna get really mad at me if I just publish all that. I'm probably just gonna do it anyway because what's he gonna do? You don't want to break up a good bromance, but um, yeah, I know, that's, I know. And I think the uh, the over the four sentence limit is exactly why you are mentoring the mechanical side of your team and not the chairman. So yes, that's exactly. okay that you went over four. So those all sound like really amazing things. I'm excited to see where you guys end up after this weekend because this is a huge kind of tipping point. It seems like for both of your teams, and I'm sure many others in the Open Alliance, along with anybody else who 
you know, may not be completely stuck. If you are completely stuck, head over to Jeep Delphi and you can check out all of the build blogs from these six teams. Um, and I'm sure so many other great resources. It seems like a lot of other teams are starting to post kind of their response to your Open Alliance posts. So I'm sure there's so much more content that teams can check out that is kind of linked and affiliated to the Open Alliance discussion. Yeah, it's um, been kind of crazy. Like all these teams kind of just snowball. They're like seeing us do it. And this was kind of the goal. Like, you know, it's called the Open Alliance, but we were kind of closed this year to just see what would happen. And knowing that the teams that are in it are dedicated to actually being open, and now we've we've seen three or four uh, blah, uh, Chief Delphi threads pop up being like, because they're doing it, we're going to do it and see what happens. So that's pretty keep cool. Keep doing it. And if, yeah, your mentors, keep... if you're watching this and your mentors don't want to do them, tell them to DM me and I'll convince them that this is beneficial. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, Christine, Worth before it. we wrap up, can we uh, grab that last question from Pinchy Boy? Yeah, so Pinchy Boy, who has been very active in chat tonight, um, said, speaking on the subject of prototypes, how do you start off the official building of the robot? I feel like our team struggles with making a decision on one idea with several successful prototypes. That is a really good question. Yeah, so we were talking about this. Um, I'm interested to hear Eric's answer, but we were talking about this today. And on Saturday, we're sort of in the morning, we're going to present all of our prototypes. And then we're going to figure out how we're going to make the decision. We don't know, but we're going to publish it. So I'm curious to see what Eric has said, how they go through it. So I try and just give advice on, like I say, we're going to prototype, you know, so we did side-by-side -side shooter, hooded shooter, climbers, all the stuff that are intakes. And I just give ideas on the different types of intakes with the shooters. And I try and stay out of it because the kids will just automatically agree with this. This is my 19th season and first. So I have a lot of, you know, historical knowledge that they, so like mm -hmm. if I put my opinion in it, they just go with it. Like I got a new mentor this year who was our driver in 2015. He was like, I'm just going to agree with whatever Eric says. And I was like, no, you can't do that. I was like, I need you to have your own opinion. So I try and stay out of it. Even on kickoff, like I stay in my own corner and like I read the rules by myself and I just, I try and stay out of it because they just agree with whatever I say. But there's always a group of us that kind of like know the direction we should go. So like we'll folk, like we'll get prototypes going and knowing what's really going to work, we'll kind of try and make those prototypes the focus and and stuff like that and so then we'll just continue iterating on the better of the prototypes or the stuff that we know is good for robots because i mean a ball game is a ball game is a ball game so like we all know that shooters or certain shooters work certain types of intakes are really good for balls but that doesn't mean that students can't learn different things by doing stuff that might necessarily be on the robot so we're still gaining knowledge but just because their prototype doesn't end on the robot they can still pivot once we decide not to use you know, like last year was suction for the for the ball and the, the disc. When I knew we weren't going to use suction. And yeah, 971 was really successful with it. But that wasn't something that I knew that we could be successful. <laughs> so we still prototyped it. But as soon as we determined and the students really determined, yeah, this isn't a good idea. They pivoted over to the stuff that we actually did. And then we really focused on that. So like we prototype a lot. So we had like 12 intake prototypes in 2018. I think we had 10 last year. And the goal of our prototyping is is they start in wood and they progressively cat it better and better and it's polycarb and then aluminum and there might still be polycarb on the final but their final prototype should be good enough that i could put it on a robot and we would be happy about it so yeah, that's that our process is just like prototypes keep getting better and eventually we're like this is good enough for our next event let's make a final version that you know can stand up to the test of time if it's plywood then we'll make it you know robot material and we, we call it a day Absolutely. So, so we're going to wrap up for tonight. Um, real quick, want to shout out to our last winner, who is Tom, the drive coach of 503. So congrats to Tom. He's got the best dad jokes in all of FRC. So good luck Everybody. living up to that, Tyler. So, um, nice. <laughs> so that's going to wrap it up for Rose Tyler has no dad jokes. Not yet. He's still a new dad. So he's got to. I, th I thought like you were saying he won the giveaway. I'm like, looking, did I do the drawing? <laughs> yeah, no, the, the last person that won was Tom from 503. Got it. Just messaged me on the, the Compass Alliance got Slack. It, and he was it. like, it was me, I won. So I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that he's on tonight. He's one of my favorite people that I met through the Compass Line. So, um, so that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, I definitely think we need to have both Eric and Dave back on to just talk about all the prototyping things. We're going to first draw for a giveaway. I was going to try to just steal whatever it is we're giving away. Um, <laughs> you're but, still, Tyler, still your own product that you made. <laughs> yeah, that would be um, really 
There but you go. <laughs> yes, we're giving away the friends. Winning is bad as like winning, so. I, I I guess so. Giving away the friends who are about Australia. Uh, once again, the keyword for that was bucket hats uh, in order to win, <laughs> and uh, the uh, winner. Uh, for this one is Dr. Wuga. Dr. Wuga, congratulations. Uh, you have won. And Dr. Wuga is a sub, so that means lots of rigged emails in chat. We clearly rigged it for Dr. Dr. Wuga to win. Uh, but congratulations. By the way, guys, really why we're doing this, we want you to go and check these out uh, over uh, on Teespring. Uh, we'll give you the links in here. Uh, FRC Teams for Bushfire Relief. The link is in chat. Uh, so once again, go check that out uh, and buy some cool swag, support the Australian Red Cross for the fires. We, guys, we know there's tons of global crises all around the world, by the way. We understand that. Uh, this is one of the team came to us and said, hey, we're, we're looking at doing more with this. Can you help out? And we're delighted to help teams out when they ask uh, the best they can. So if you have a cause or something that your team is interested in, we'll get to as many as we can. Uh, so let us know. Uh, shoot us a message on our Discord or on Facebook or something like that. So uh, lots, lots of cool stuff with that. And uh, good luck uh, to all the teams. I did hear that uh, Teespring might actually be uh, helping promote this in the future, which would be super cool if that happens. So... Uh, so uh, thank you to the teams who are helping uh, step up for the bush, bushfire relief uh, to help out uh, everything that's going on in Australia right now. Yeah, and you should check out all the awesome frog boar swag that's up there, 971. I know neutrons are in the process of putting up some, some apparel there too as well. So we're going to wrap it up for tonight. So a huge thank you to our guests, um, both Dave and Eric, from the Open Alliance in Team 2826 and 6328. Um, and huge thank you to all of you, the fun fans. We rely on you to keep fun going, so please consider subscribing or donating bits on Twitch or pledging your support on patreon.com uh, forward, slash, forward slash Bert's updates now. Um, the most important thing, though, you, that you can do is let people know about us um, and our shows like Roast and Robots. So click that follow button. And we also have a Discord, which is pretty awesome. You can join with over 2,200 other people to talk about the show and other things at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and don't forget to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and the occasional snapchat takeover on her first updates now so tyler let us know who helped support the show this evening yeah but in side note uh we didn't do it on her first updates now but we did a uh tiktok for robot in three days that audrey one of our hosts was very proud of uh and actually got like four five hundred followers i think so it was pretty funny what? i'm like i don't really want anything to do with tiktok thank you but I don't apparently even, it was popular i have yet to tiktok now yeah, but, yeah. But I, kids these days. our students are always tiktok and i'm always yelling at them to stop tiktok and then start getting back to prototyping i don't i don't twitter i don't Instagram. I, I have no idea what TikTok is. Wait, what about Eric? Never, I mean, I've seen. Eric, like, thank you for alienating stuff, half our audience now. Appreciate that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like you're older than I am, Tyler, but I'm sure I'm older than the other two. So, like, we're old fogies. Yeah. So I, deal with but it. I work in but, social media, at least. So I have a, uh, <laughs> I have a little bit of an edge on that. Uh, let's read off real quick who's uh, helped support uh, Fun State Loud Live and Independent. We definitely had a few people uh, step up today and want to give them some great recognition uh, for that. So, uh, Dr. Shakalu with the uh, sub. Well, it's a little bit of some bits. First Capital R 3D bits. Uh, Red Litter 342 coming in, giving away five tier one subs and 5,000 bits and a few more later on. TJP 503 with the prime sub uh and a few others as well i for some reason something's blurred out on mine but thank you thank you thank you to everybody uh for helping us stay loud live and independent we know we you know we know we do have a sponsor and that definitely helps but we still need your help a lot to keep this stuff going and pesto agrees uh with this as well too so make sure you are uh, uh make sure guys you know we could really use your help i mean we have uh, we broadcast to about 140,000 unique people every single year, and only a few hundred step up. Uh, if you got that dollar to give, we really would appreciate it. It means the world to us to know that you appreciate our work uh, for this, as well as artists and creators uh, doing this. So thank you so much for those who have stepped up to keep First Updates Now live, loud, and independent. Yep, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so on behalf of myself and our producer, Tyler, I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. Um, and thanks for our moderators in chat. And a huge thank you to both Dave and Eric for taking time out of their very, very, very busy build season. So we'll see you next time on Roast and Robots and talk to you then. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now.
Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. 